the constitution of india preamble we the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute india into a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice social economic and political liberty of thought expression belief faith and worship equality of status and of opportunity and to promote among them all fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation in our constituent assembly this 26th day of november 1949 do hereby adopt enact and give to ourselves this constitution hello children welcome to our english class every child is an artist the problem is how to remain an artist once he grows up by pablo picasso so my dear children it's your duty to keep up your talents and practice it daily like other things okay today your friends are going to read the paragraph from this new extended reader through this you come to know the essential of reading in our life okay just watch the video of your friends hi friends i am nandana let me explain the first two paragraphs of extended read Liki Tiki Ta. It's written by Rudyard Kipling. Let me start. Liki Tiki Ta. It rained heavily all night. The sunlight was a little pale. Teddy, a young boy of ten, ran out into the garden. He saw a mongoose lying wet and still on the grass. Here's a dead mongoose. Teddy called out to his mother, "Let's bury him." Then I will explain. It rained heavily all night. The sunlight was a little bit. It was raining the last night, and the next morning, the sunlight was a little bit. Pale means light shade. Teddy, a young boy of ten. ran out into the garden he saw a mongoose lying wet and still on the grass a 10 year old boy in teddy went to the garden and in the garden he saw a mongoose lying wet and still on the ground a mongoose is not moving Here's a dead mongoose. Teddy called out to his mother, "Let's bury him." Teddy thought that the mongoose was dead, so he called out to his mother, "See, I had found a dead mongoose. Let's bury him." Meaning of the word "bury" is put or hide underground. Slide. heartbeat of the mongoose she said not to bury the mongoose faintly means slightly then they took the mongoose inside the house and teddy's father wrapped the mongoose with an old woolen muffler and laid it near the firebird wrap means cover and muffler is a scarf that is used to wrap around our neck and face for warmth suddenly the mongoose sneezed and everyone was happy because the mongoose was in bed they gave some food for the mongoose and took it outside the mongoose shook his fur until it was dry 
Then he shook his long and fluffy tail until it was looking looking like a body brush. Thank you, Nadanayas, fifth A. Hi friends, I am Nigil, M of 5th C. Today I am going to explain about Ricky Tiki Tavi's second paragraph. Soon, he started taking interest in Teddy and things around him. He followed Teddy around the house and into the garden. He, um, he slept in Teddy's room at night. At first, the Teddy and the mongoose were not friends. After that, the Teddy and the mongoose became good friends and the mongoose slept in the Teddy's room last night. In the mornings, he came for breakfast, sitting on Teddy's shoulder. Teddy gave him a banana and a boiled egg. The mongoose enjoyed the breakfast. In the mornings, when the mongoose came for breakfast by sitting on Teddy's shoulder, and the Teddy gave him a banana and a boiled egg, and they enjoyed the breakfast. Soon, Teddy and the little mongoose became good friends. The mongoose ran through the tall grass, crying ricky tick ticky ticky tick. Teddy used to laugh at him and started calling him ricky ticky tabi. Uh, later that the teddy and the mongoose became um, good friends and the uh, and the teddy put a name to mongoose ricky tiki thank you one morning ricky tiki was wandering about in the garden there he saw nak the big cobra and his wife agina cobras and mongooses are age old enemies although ricky tiki was young he knew that the Main objective of a mongoose life is to fight and kill snakes. This paragraph tells about the Rikitiki and his enemies. As he is a mongoose, cobras are his age-old enemies and he saw the two cobras, Nag and his wife, Nagina at the garden. Nag also knew that a Mongoose in the garden meant death for him and his family. He was a full grown snake and measured 5 feet from the tip of his tongue to the end of his tail. Rikitiki was still a baby. He told himself, I won't fight Nak and Nagina when they are together. So he jumped up high in the air and ran away and moved from that place. The main objective of a mongoose life is to fight and kill snakes. But the Rikitiki was still a baby. The cobra was a full grown snake. So the clever Rikitiki thought that he won't fight with Nag and Nagina when they are together and decided to fight with them when they are alone and moved from the place. Hi friends, I'm Mia Samit from 5th A. Let me read my paragraph. It was night. Teddy carried Ricky to bed. So it was night. Teddy and Ricky went to bed. As soon as the boy was asleep, Ricky went off for his nightly walk around the house. Here, the boy is Teddy. As soon as Teddy was asleep, Ricky went out for a night walk. Suddenly, the silence was disturbed by a faint noise. Suddenly, Ricky heard a faint noise. A faint noise means soft noise, padinya shabda. Where did the noise come from? It came from the bottom of Teddy's parents. So, Ricky thought that there is someone inside the bathroom. Ricky Tiki quickly entered the bathroom. He could hear Nag and Nagina talking on the other side of the bathroom drain. By hearing the sound, Ricky quickly entered the bathroom. And he could hear Nag the snake and his wife Nagina talking on the other side of the bathroom drain. Thank you. I am continuing. Nagina told her husband, bite and kill all three people in the house. The mongoose will go away, will go away when, when the, there is no one left in the house. 
we will have the garden to ourselves then ricky tikki so nak slithering into the bathroom through the tray although ricky tikki was very angry he was also a little scared nag was so big and poisonous nagina told her husband bite and kill all three people in the house the mongoose will go away when there is no one left in the house we will then have the garden to ourselves then ricky tikki so nag slithering into the bathroom to the drain slithering means sliding ricky tikki the ricky tikki so nag slithering into the bathroom through the drain ricky tikki was very angry he was also a little scared ricky tikki ki cherry nalla desham undayirun pakshe oru cherry pediyum undayirun because nag was so big and poisonous hi friends i am bisha 58 let me read my paragraph now better for teddy's father to come to the bathroom he knew he would come at midnight now knew he would come teddy's father will come at midnight definitely so he called himself up to he looked like a long rope arranged in the shape of circle called means roll or twist into the shape kayaru mari maruga then nag went to sleep then nag annoyingly went to sleep ricky tikki hid behind the door and watched nag that same time ricky tikki hid behind the door and watched nag to save teddy's family thank you i am punima anaya from fifth d let me continue When Nag was fast asleep, Ricky Ticky jumped on his head and dug his teeth into the snake flesh. When Nag was asleep, Ricky Ticky jumped on his head and bit him. Nag was furious. Furious means angry. He threw his head from side to side and poor Ricky Ticky was thrown against the wall again and again. Nag shaked his head side to side and the poor Ricky Ticky was thrown against the wall again and again. he was hurt and bleeding but he did not let go his hold of nags at although he was hurt and blood came out but he did not let go his hold of nags at thank you hi friends my name is jenya i am studying in 5th a let me continue the paragraph of kitty tabi during the struggle nags still upset the mug and soap dish They fell to the ground with a loud thud. Ricky Ticky thought he was going to die. Suddenly, the wild duel stopped. Nag's head dropped down and did not stay there after. Teddy's father, who had entered the bathroom, hearing the loud thud, had killed him. In this paragraph, I understood that during the fight, both of them fell to the ground with a loud noise. Ricky Ticky thought he was going to die. Suddenly, Ricky Ticky felt that Nag stopped the fight, and Nag said, "Drop it down." That was Teddy's father, who came to the bathroom by hearing the loud noise, killed the Nag. Thank you. Hello, friends. Let me read the last paragraph of this story. Watch them. He picked up the bleeding Ricky Ticky and went back to his bedroom. What's the meaning of this sentence? He take the bleeding of Ricky Ticky and go back to his bedroom. He asked his wife to put some medicines on Ricky's wood. He tell to his wife to put some medicines on Ricky's wood. I killed the snake, he said, but it is Ricky Ticky who has saved our lives. Teddy's mother washed Ricky's wounds with medicine. Teddy's mother washed Ricky's wounds with medicine. Teddy's mother washed Ricky's wounds with medicine. She patted his little sore head and gave him some toffees. What's the meaning of patted? Touch quickly and gently with the flat of the hand. Ricky Ticky was happy. 
he fluffed up his tail and ran off to Teddy's room. What's the meaning of fluffed? Make something appear fluffer and softer by shaking. That's the meaning of fluffer. Thank you. Amazing. Well done children. Keep it up. So, my dear fifth standard children, it's your duty to motivate yourself for reading as well as your best handwriting. Okay? So, read this story and give me your feedback, that is review of this story. So, write the review of this story and send it to me. It will improve your thought processing children while reading. If there is comma, give a pause. If it is a full stop, have a stop. Okay. So, while reading, give proper pronunciation, stress and feelings. That is very important in all subjects. Okay, children. So, write a review and send it to me. Read the story three times. Okay, children. And write the meanings also. I will meet you in the next class. Bye.